All right, I just create a man smiling with the pink hair like me. <laughs> it's very interesting, very interesting. Okay, so uh, back to the uh, series. So this is a series video about Config UI. Uh, if you just stumble upon my channel, this channel is not just about AI, not just about art. It's my journey of, of exploration of uh, creating not only the art, but uh, like digital art, but also traditional art, all the funny stuff, the modeling, the animation, all that. And um, who am I? I'm William Jamming, and this is Comfy UI. Uh, tutorial. All right. <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to show you this like the third video. So if you uh, like want to uh, catch up, you can just go to my uh, like YouTube homepage and click this uh, like a playlist and then the rest copy UI playlist here. So uh, I, uh, in the previous video, I'll show you how to run uh, that in the cloud using Google's Colab. And of course, you can follow uh, if you got like a beefy computer, they want to like generate that quickly and locally, you can do that as well. Okay, so you can just install that on a computer locally and there is a browser coming up and you can uh, like follow along. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how versatile this method is because Comfort UI is like, a, you can sort of treat this as an operating system and you can install a lot of app to that system. Okay, so let's start from very simple one. That is the checkpoint. So previously we talked about um, yeah, where's my mouse? Okay, so previously we talked about how to uh, you know start from a load checkpoint, and got like a positive problem, a negative problem. We got an empty latent image. We got case sampler. We got VAE decoder. We got encoder and decoder, and we got a specific output image. Okay, as you can see, uh, I put a like a man smiling red hair glasses. <laughs> okay, it's just uh, there, me description for me okay and uh, you don't want it to be like a crying and uh, uh, yeah so the database uh, pretty much like trained on a lot of men with beard and uh, I, I sort of don't want a beard uh, even though I'm not sort of like a mid-wage man uh, I don't want a beard I'm an anime character <laughs> so uh, what I'm going to do what I'm going to do is to um, uh, like uh, using a negative prompt of crying and beard and uh, then you are uh, yeah you can hold the seed um, unchange or you can you can make a change doesn't really matter doesn't really matter uh, and then you can uh, change the step or that's uh, right now let's just uh, leave everything default and you can generate a man and uh, the reason for I use this by the way uh, you, you you might uh, yeah this is a little bit controversial you might think. Yeah, haters gonna hate. A lot of haters will always say, hey, you self claim uh, artist, you use AI, you are not an artist, you, you just, uh, you know, using AI. Uh, as I said multiple times, I am sort of a stand in neutral uh, while facing AI. I think I need to, uh, we need to use AI responsibly and ethically. And uh, if you're an artist, uh, you can use the help of AI to uh, maybe use the background as long as you know you are uh, like declared so you have to you know make the viewer you, you can't like a cheat and and, and, and and deceive people say that this is your work and uh, the second thing is that the model is trained like ethically okay uh, right now I'm using like a diffusion model and if you want to use model by the way this is all this video about if you want to use the customized model you can just go to this website called CVE. Of course, we got hundreds of thousands of websites that provide uh, the uh, the people's training model. I just choose the like uh, the like a most downloading model <laughs> of, uh, of a specific checkpoint, and this is like a based on stable diffusion, and uh, this is like checkpoint merge, and uh, we got like, a realistic version. Like a, uh, this is like the latest version. While wow. You can get uh, like a realistic pro trail uh, model. I use this because I want to learn human face. <laughs> I recently tried to draw faces, but uh, I sometimes find it very, very hard to, to get the exact angle, exact lighting, and exact description of hair, of uh, like uh, the angle, as well as expression. I, I'm, I'm really keen to learn expression, like excited, like happy, sad and maybe embarrassed or something like that. I really want to get like every expression like uh, like practice, but I can't find the model and I can't hire one. 
I, I'm broke. I don't have any money. And by the way, I haven't reached monetization goal yet. So please, please give this video a thumb up. I spent 18 hours a day making all this video. So thank you so much. So if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. All right. So let's continue. So for example, I want to use this model for my practice purpose. Okay. So I can just uh, yeah, you know, just go to the file here. So if it's collapsed, you just click it here. Okay. And uh, then you can just uh, you know right click download and copy link address. Okay. The reason uh, for copy link address rather than just to download that locally is that I'm going to load that to Google Drive. Uh, and Google Drive kind of like integrated with the collab, so you can like uh, use that seamlessly. Um, this script. Uh, I, I will link this uh, this script in the description below. Okay, the script is uh, created by uh, uh, yeah, great shout out to your uh, Dream Machine AI. Okay, and uh, uh, I found this project on GitHub. It's MIT license, so you can use it. And uh, but I, I do want to like great great shout out and thanks to this guy to contribute to the open source community. I'm a great fan of open source, and uh, that's the reason I, I believe like AI model should be like uh, open source and so we can review it we can use it and uh, we can contribute to the community together okay and <laughs> i'm a coder myself so i'm a great fan and i contribute a lot okay so uh yeah i uh, checked the google drive and uh, at this step uh, by the way uh, if you haven't uh, like watched my previous video previous video i talk about this a lot so uh, yeah don't get like a stress out when you see this because uh, like uh, this is a step by step tutorial. I'm not jumping uh, uh, too much. Okay, this is just a uh, like, step by step. So as this step, we got like a download resources. Okay, now we got this uh, like option here, and you just uh, copy and paste that specific download link uh, as a resources URL. Okay, so you can download that to your Google Drive. As you can see, uh, this uh, kind of like download to. Uh, Google Drive's model and checkpoint relics version and all that. Okay. By the way, you can rename it. Okay. So you can do whatever name that you want. You can say that's uh, some test model or something like that. I just like uh, just copy this uh, this model's name because uh, you know if you load it and save it tons of model, you, you do want it to get <laughs> really separated. You don't want to say test the one, test two, all that. You get confused pretty quickly. You don't want that. Okay. And the, you the output path. You can change it, of course. Uh, right now, let's just use the default for models and checkpoints. So while you you are finishing, you just click it, run, and you download. It's really, really quick, just less than uh, two minutes. So one minutes, 59 seconds, just less than two minutes. And you will got just to go download it. And then at here, uh, here, at load checkpoint, you can just click this, and you can find this realistic version uh, dot save tensors model okay and then you can just use it uh, everything else every node you don't need to change at all so this is uh, like the uh, the thing that we did uh, like previous and of course if you just open a new project you will automatically load this workflow it's very simple workflow and uh, I explained this workflow node by node previously so if you haven't seen that go to check it out all right and uh, and don't forget to give me a thumb up all right please Okay, <laughs> so uh, then you can just improve this. Okay, so for example, if I want to say uh, maybe I want to learn something about you know mad. Okay, really really mad. So um, a man mad. Okay, and I don't want it to be cry to be uh to be smile. I don't want that. Uh, to be shy to be tired. I want it to be really really mad. Okay, but also got a like a red hair and glasses you can do that and once you load this model you can just click quill prompt and you can see that you saw from here case sample okay and then just a few seconds it will show because you can sort of uh, you know render it and uh yeah i got a little man mad uh, but it's not too mad so maybe uh let's uh, prompt a little bit and i think maybe that's because uh, you know the base model um, of a portrait, uh, seldom people like uh, really mad. Uh, well, they are doing the portraits, so you might not get a hundred percent like accurate uh, model. Uh, but you know, uh, it's better than nothing. Okay. So, for example, 
Uh, I want this man to be like a tired. Okay, so uh, what about tire? Let's just uh, click this and wait for it. You got uh, like a really quick uh, generation here. So it's uh, like a tired. <laughs> and what about, uh, what about, uh, you know, what about I like this man to be smart, maybe not, maybe mad. Okay, angry. Or G R Y. Okay, angry. And I want to show a little bit uh, two some teeth, uh, teeth. Okay, <laughs> and uh, red hair, glasses. All right, let's try this one. Okay, hopefully I can get a result. Okay, I want it to be ah like a, like a showing his teeth why he's angry. Okay, that's uh, that's better. So you have to get like a more hint. Uh, to the uh, model, so model is uh, like uh, can get more hints of uh, yeah, uh, mad. Okay, this may may not be classified as mad, but uh, hey, we got the teeth showing out, so I'm going to combine this with the mad expression. So the uh, like the control the brow and eye and, and, and mouth and face and all that. Okay, I think it's very good, uh, especially like you are quickly you know train yourself of a different expression, but you want that to be very specific, okay? And of course, you you can just change that to your uh, to woman or girl, okay? A woman or whatever. And you want your uh, negative uh, to be a uh, man. So sort of like a, uh, well, maybe not a girl, like a woman. So women and men, so like a, like, like, just, uh, like a contrast thing. Uh, okay, so uh, we can quickly generate another one. Okay, just wait for it. One, two, three, yeah. And of course you got uh, like a teeth coming out. And uh, that's, uh, that's a good one. Uh, and of course, uh, some of the like illogical things that you might need to modify and do not uh, learn from this, uh, like unlearn from this, but a lot of things that are worse, uh, you, you know, learning. Okay, so for example, uh, while it's mad, you got like a, like a eyebrow that's got like a folded, but it's kind of like a comical folding that's a little bit too much but uh yeah but uh it kind of um uh get this like a really funky style girl <laughs> it's uh, angry and the teeth is not good but uh, sometimes the reflection you can learn from it as well okay and sometimes you can learn human anatomy but i do not recommend that you learn anatomy this way you do this unless you got some sort of uh, understanding uh, because you don't, uh, I don't want you guys to, to follow uh, like a, a run of, or, 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 or I don't know, it's just a random generated thing, okay? Um, so um, you can use this uh, for, you know, uh, the expression reference, something like that. And uh, as I said, as I said, I'm sort of a standard and very neutral about whether to accept this technology or not. Uh, I, uh, I believe that technology um, is the way, okay? We human, even though you know artists maybe uh, you know uh, boycott, um, yeah, you know uh, AI. Uh, I think they will use it. Oh, they will use it, and uh, just like when they like a traditional artist will use uh, like a digital uh, tools, like become digital artists because uh, this development of technology is unavoidable. But as I said multiple times, and I stress that multiple times in every video, that. First, the disclosure, right? You need to disclose it. Second, the, the model trained need to like ethically. And uh, what I propose is that, um, like not only just the art, okay, whatever, maybe maybe like train from like n novels, something like that. As long as every time people use this model and, uh, uh, and, and this model can like generate a sort of revenue or something like that and and they, they, they gotta have a sort of like a revenue sharing system, okay? They will get uh, like a, maybe they use one percentage of your model, okay? They use like a one percentage of your model and uh, maybe they will pay you like one, one percentage of your revenue, some sort of a system like that. I strongly propose that and uh, maybe there is a like law and regulation, something like that. But I do look forward to that day to come because the, that, uh, in that way, the AI uh, is not like a stealing things, but also you can sort of pay back to the training data, like you and me. All right. So yeah.
be sure to subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumb up. Okay, okay, okay. See you next video. Bye.